My name is Barbara McNaught and I would like to welcome you to Hello Darling Show. Hello Darling will introduce very special people with a very special stories. Our very special guests of today are Greg Chapman and Ryan Thompson, known as a man in pink. You look absolutely amazing. Thank you. And you now too, Barbara. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> As we have seen in the newspapers, you have a mission. You're not wearing the pink suits because you like color pink. You're wearing the pink suits because you've got a special, special campaign. And this is Men in Pink for Mount Kilimanjaro. Greg, please tell us, is there any personal story attached to your initiative, to this wonderful initiative? Okay, yeah, well look, basically we, um, we, we came up with this idea just to, to, to try and raise funds for, for breast cancer research, you know, and it was a little bit of a crazy harebrained idea. But myself, my auntie was actually diagnosed with breast cancer about 16 years ago, and uh, unfortunately she just recently lost that fight. Um, it eventually spread to, to, to the rest of her body and, uh, you know, it was, it, it ended up not being good for her, so uh, as, as in most cases it does. So that, that's really my motivation to, to, to go ahead and do something and, and raise funds so that the research can be done to, uh, to, to really, you know, find a cure, you know, so, uh, so yeah, that, that's my motivation. I'm, I'm really doing it for my auntie and, and everyone else out there as well. Beautiful. I'm sure she will be looking from up there. I'm sure yeah? she is, yeah. And sending you blessings and strength to climb, climb the mountain. Yeah. Ryan, is there a story, of course, I assume, behind your action? I certainly do, Barbara. And uh, yeah, it's not every day that I dress up in a pink suit, I can assure you. Um, yeah, my, my motivation was, uh, was quite, uh, quite, quite similar to Greg's. Um, I was actually traveling uh, around the world at the time. I was in Miami and uh, got the dreaded phone call from my brother telling me that his wife had been diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. Um, and I remember it distinctively. It was, it was you know, absolutely devastating. And I remember going back to the hotel room and, and actually just lying on, on my bed and, and just feeling absolutely helpless. Um, it was um, at that stage I decided that um, I, I, I was going to do something. At that, I didn't really know what. But I had a lot of time to think because I was traveling around the world and I uh, spent another three, three weeks in the US and um, I actually um, made the decision then that I would uh, do something towards the, you know, the, the breast cancer uh, awareness. And when I got back, um, I'd caught up with Greg and um, we were having a barbecue outside and, and I you know, told him my story and I said, you know, and he told me his and we'd, we'd knocked off by then a few bottles of red and I said, um, why, don't we, why don't we climb Kilimanjaro? And Greg, being the adventurous person he is, uh, agreed. He said, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's climb Kilimanjaro. So the only person that I knew who was involved with uh, breast cancer and breast cancer research was, of course, your fantastic husband, Douglas. And um, I think it was 5 to 11 at night when I picked up the phone and called Doug and said, Doug, we need your wife. <laughs> Well, as you can imagine, he wasn't too thrilled with that. But when I told him the story, he was, he was um, ecstatic. And um, you gave us a call a few days later, and, um, and the rest is history, you know. Um, my sister-in-law has just had um, a partial breast rem removed, mm -hmm. um, and that's about 10 days ago. And she's um, in recovery, and she's had a reconstruction as well. So it's very optimistic at this stage, even though it's uh, quite aggressive. She's quite young. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we hoping that they've caught it very early. Uh, she's still probably got 18 months worth of treatment left, but um, as a family, uh, we, we, we praying and hoping for the best, you know, and she's a very tough, tough cookie, so we'll, we'll defeat this, uh, this monster, you know, so, you know, Greg and I have, um, yeah, we've made the decision to climb Kilimanjaro next, uh, next, next year, 2013, in August, so we're looking forward to it. Bring it on. Well, I assume you don't just wake up in the morning, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. There must be a lot of preparations going towards it. Starting with fitness. What do you do to be as fit as James Bond? 
maybe not quite as big as James Bond, but we'll demo a try. <laughs> we, um, look, we basically uh, just had a, a Jets gym open up just a couple of offices down from our office in, in success. And uh, we went down there and basically said, well, look, guys, can you, can you help us out to get us fit? And um, they went and spoke to uh, the powers that be and came back to us and said, well, look, you know what, we'll give you free membership until you, you go away. So, I mean, that's a whole year of, of free membership. And, uh, and they're also doing uh, every week a, a personal training session with us as Fantastic. well. So uh, just to, to try and get us ready to, to conquer the beast, basically. And what about your diet? Yeah, look, basically we're, um, we're just uh, 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 eating light and easy. So we're, we're light and easy or delight and light, easy? Light and easy. Yes. Light and easy, yeah. So uh, Is light and easy our sponsor yet? Uh, no, they're not. If, uh, if we could get them on board, um, you know, uh, that would be really, really good. So and it works. And it works. It does work, Beautiful. yeah. And yeah. it tastes well? It tastes very good. The variety is great as well. So, um, so I think we're well. We both both tried it out, and it's uh, yeah, it's been been very good for us so far. Great. And the pink suits have been sponsored by Ferrari Formal Wear. Have sponsored the suits. We've had we've had a lot of um, a lot of help from a lot of people, and Ferrari Formal Wear in Fremantle um, sponsored the suits, and it was just amazing. They they basically have given us the suits for for a twelve month period because you know our idea is to actually climb Kilimanjaro you know, in the pink suits or pink suits. Um, partly in the pink suits. We don't know how, um, you know, practical it's going to be, but we're definitely, <laughs> we're definitely doing it for, for breast cancer and we, we, we are going to be, you know, using the suits as, as motivation to get us, get us up the hill. So the, the, the mechanics of that haven't been final, but finalised, but they, they, will be, they will be done soon at a time. Incredible. Greg, Ryan, I wish you all the best of luck for your beautiful initiative. We can't wait to hear the results. It will be announced at the annual Pink Ribbon Ball 2013 on October 19th. We will see a lot of sponsors, a lot of supporters. No, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Barbara. Really appreciate it. And I would like to thank Gershwin's restaurant in the Hyatt Regency First for hosting us today, the beautiful Gershwin's. And we see you on Hello Darling again. <laughs>